What's up logical people? This is Amar. A dice is placed as shown here. If you roll it on the path shown, what number will you get on the top? Pause the video and think logically. Some people may not have an idea about how the remaining numbers are arranged. It's actually very simple. The opposite sides would always give the same addition. So the number 6 would be opposite to 1, 5 is opposite to 2, and 3 is opposite to 4. The opposite numbers give the same addition, that is 7. If you didn't know about this previously, I encourage you to pause the video and think over the main problem. I am revealing the answer in 3, 2, 1. Let me name the faces as front, back. This face is on my right side, so let's call it right and this would be left. We have top and bottom. When you imagine the dice rolling, it's a bit difficult to keep track of the numbers after the dice makes the third move. But I am sure you have managed to visualize the number on the top. But if I ask you to visualize the dice rolling on a more complex path, then it gets extremely challenging to keep track of the numbers. So to solve this problem, we should come up with a logical plan. We can't keep track of all six numbers, but it's very easy to focus on just a single number. So let's give it a try and I'll go with the number 1. It's initially on the front face. After the dice is rolled on the right, the number 1 will stay on the front face. In the next move, 1 will go on the top. In the next move, 1 will go on the right. And after the final move, 1 will still stay on the right. That was fairly simple. So now, shall we trace each number one by one to check which number gets the top position in the end? Well, not really. After some brainstorming, I figured out an optimal solution and I hope you too have figured out this approach. And that is to trace the position of the number in reverse. In the final position, let's say the number on the top is x. And now let's trace its position in reverse. In the previous position, x would be on the back face. And previous to that, x would still be on the back face. Before that, x would be on the top and previous to that, x would be on the left face. And we are back to the initial position. So which number in the initial position is located on the left face? It's the number 5. So we got the answer to this problem, that the number on the top in the final position would be number 5. Let's verify it by tracing the path in the normal forward way. 5 is on the left. So after the first move, 5 would be on the top. Next, it would go to the back. Next, it will stay on the back. Next, it will come on the top. So the number 5 will be on the top. Now, apply the same strategy on this complex path to find out what number will be on the top. I'll wait for your answers in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with a new logic puzzle every week. Till then, give a try to these interview puzzles. Also check out very hard riddles on my channel, Logically Yours.